Hey guys, welcome back to today's video. For Christmas time, I usually get very excited. Um, this is when like all of the really pretty palettes come out. The palettes that have a lot of extra details and just all of that exciting stuff. This year, it's been a kind of little bleh. I haven't really seen anything too crazy coming out and that kind of sucks. But I did get the one palette that is really crazy and really pretty and just absolutely stunning. So this is the Pure by Grinch, or <laughs> the Grinch palette by Pure. And it is based off of like the new Grinch that just came out, not um, the Jim Carrey Grinch. So when you open it up, it has this really cute, just like absolutely detailed adorableness inside that is essentially pointless, but it's just that extra farthness that they took with this palette that I love. And then the mirror is a super cute little heart shape with the little snows around it and the ornaments. And then this part pulls out. Dun dun dun! This is where the colors are. So this is a highlighter, this is a blush, and then these two are some glitters, like pressed glitters. And then the rest of these are just eyeshadows. I love the way that these colors blend together, the way they look on the eyelid. Like I always prime and I usually use like my BH concealer because it's a really, I got the lightest shade and it pretty much just blanks out your, your lids, canvas style. So I have used this a good handful of times and I'm 99% positive that I have a tutorial that I did on a previous look that I'm going to throw in at the end of this video because what I did today isn't this palette. And so I'm going to swatch these for you. That way you guys can kind of see. I do love, so the highlighter is called Feeling Frosty. It is really pretty. It is gorgeous. And my favorite, favorite, favorite highlighter is by Pure. And it's from their Sculptor, Sculptor palette. And it's called the Originator. That highlighter is... So it's this one right here. I don't know how well you can see it. I have hit serious pan on it. I actually have a second one of these. Um, my mom gave me out of her boxy charm because that's where I got this one. That way I have a backup because I've never really hit pan on anything. You know, I like to explore products. And so I haven't gotten to that point where I've used something that I love so much that I hit pan. And that highlighter is it. This highlighter is not quite as whoa as that one, but it is still super pretty. And um, so I thought maybe, because I'm going to swatch it, but I thought maybe I would go ahead and swatch it with a brush, like how I would actually apply it. I've never done this before, so if it doesn't work very well, I might just swatch it with my finger. I'm not sure how that showed up. I can't really tell on my camera. So I will go ahead and swatch that with a finger. Oh, God. But like, hello. And I believe this palette goes for 49 if I remember right. And then the blush is called Heart of Who, and it is just this really rosy pink, very gorgeous, gorgeous blush. We are going to go ahead and swatch this side of the palette first. So this right here is a great transition shade, and I usually use this whenever I use this palette, just in the crease, even if I'm going to go crazy with it, because it just helps the colors really blend together, and it just looks really, really good. And then this is called Sly One. It is like a burgundy kind of shade, like maybe a brick burgundy. I seriously can't get over this palette. This is called Max, and it's kind of like a highlighty shade, like a goldish color. They are, like with these swatches, like I don't know if you can tell that I'm kind of like rubbing on them. When I'm swatching them, they do come up like a little chunky, but they blend out really well. Like super, super well. And one second here. And then the last one on this side is called Leave Now. I have not actually used this shade yet, but it's like a shimmery black. Oh my god. Again! again all right so now we are going to swatch this side right here and the first one is called who cares and it's like your grinchy green it is my favorite shade out of this whole palette um so pretty like more of a foresty green if we're not talking about the grinch 
and I literally love it. I've packed it on my lid. I've packed it in my corner. Like it is just so pretty and it works with all of these colors so you could do anything. And then this one is called Loathe and it is your gold. And then we've got Cindy Lou Who, which these side is more creamy because the other side are more of a, like, I don't want to say more matte, but they feel that matty texture. And then these ones all feel like a more creamy texture. And that's Cindy Lou Who. It's always so funny. Like, it feels like I'm going straight down my arm, but I'm watching them slant. And then the last one is called Boring. And it's like a chocolate brown. But like, look at that pigmentation. You know, I mean, even using your brushes, obviously, you know, I am one of those people who does not think swatches tell the story. Um, I think I want to start swatching like with a makeup brush because I feel like that would really show you guys what it's going to look like coming off of your brush. But um, I honestly didn't think about it until just right this second. <laughs> so, but I do believe that swatches, you know, because no one presses on their eyeshadows that way unless you're literally packing it on your lid. And so swatches are not the whole story, but this palette genuinely does just rock. It is so pretty. It is so gorgeous. And then let's go ahead and swatch these shimmer, or not shimmers, but these pressed glitters. So this is called Mr. Grinch. Like, can you, can you? Oh my God. Like, hello. Hello. And then this one is called Naughty. And they feel really creamy. Like, it's kind of crazy to me how creamy they feel because they are glitter. Like... I'm just utterly impressed all the way around with this palette and I've had it for a while. Um, I think I got it maybe a week after it was released and I had planned on doing a video for it but I just have been in kind of a funk and hadn't really gotten down and sat down and did a video on it and so finally today I was like you know what we're gonna record like three videos. And then unless you've known about this palette um, this little hole right here held a lipstick called Moody. Um, I just have it popped out and put it up in my lipsticks, and that is what, this is what it looks like. Um, it looks green, which I thought was super, super cute, but it is not green. Um, <clears throat> when you put it on your skin, I don't know how well you can see it, but it actually comes out this like kind of glossy, little rosy pink. You know, it gives your skin or your lips like a little bit of color, but it's not really like a lipstick. Like it kind of deepens a little bit. I just thought it was a really fun kind of addition to the palette. Um, I do love it. I've used it a few times and it's just nice on like those days when I'm barely wearing any makeup. Just throw it on, gives my, my lips a little bit of color but nothing crazy. And I'm happy with that. So overall I would definitely rate this palette like like a 9 out of 10 if not a 10 out of 10. And I think the only 9 out of 10 reason is just because I never reach for the highlighter and the blush because they're in the palette. But I mean the pigmentation everything about this palette is amazing um not really probably travel easy like if you travel a lot it's probably not great for that because it is kind of bulky but i mean it is it's beautiful guys um so that's all i've got with you on this palette though um like i said i'm gonna double check and see if i have a tutorial what i've used with this palette if not maybe i'll just go ahead and make another one to attach at the end here so you can see firsthand how the colors blend and how they work together and then I'm going to get out of here. You guys have a great rest of your night, and I will see you around in my next video. Have a great evening, a great morning, wherever it is you are at. Enjoy the rest of it, and stay tuned. Make sure you hit subscribe. Bye. Give me a little thumbs up. And thumbs up. Oh, oh, she gave you a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys around. Mwah. Bye. Bye.